y'all yeah, know my box Chevy when I bought it, it was already motor swapped with the small block 350. Now, if I want to be honest with y'all, a lot of box Chevys are LS swapped. A lot of them. Even in like going to car shows and stuff, you see a box Chevy is most likely L swapped, LS swapped, I mean, or LT swapped. I was going to go ahead and LS swap my car, but now I've been thinking about it. Like I said, I don't want my car to be just looks like some regular LS. LS swap box Chevy like anybody else as you know so I want to keep this small block in here a stock 350 only thing that was done was headers if I do motor swap it put that other 350 in here I'm most likely gonna hold on to this motor just in case if I like need extra parts from it or if I want to get this one built as well you feel me then I have a backup for this car or my color so if I ever get another if I ever get a Monte Carlo I have a motor for it to just go straight in now I'm doing shit you can be proud of My shit used to be him, then I have for my closet Prada I fell, but a nigga got up This and this shit get shot up Punch in my pocket, not up Rapping on finally making it rain while I was locked up So my niggas just hold on, never worried I got got us Why? Cause it's up What's up guys, this your boy Deuce Back with another video As y'all see by the title I'm thinking about doing a transmission swap on this car Now Y'all know my box Chevy when I bought it, it was already motor swap with the small block 350. And the transmission it got on it, I've been told, shout out to my boy Skips for telling me this and informing me this about the transmissions and stuff. I've been doing a little research myself on the side, but I've been told, like I said, my transmission is a three speed, which is one reason why this car, you know what I'm saying, don't get up to speed, don't ain't ain't too fast, you know what I'm saying? This car is like it like it it kind of max out like 65 maybe 70 miles an hour you know what i'm saying so yeah this trans i know it's definitely this transmission and this motor's not built transmission not built none of that stuff so this motor and transmission the only thing that's really been done to this motor and transmission is headers you know what i'm saying everything else is stock and like i said it ain't built nothing bored over nothing you feel me no open pistons i think that's what they are Honestly, I don't know. Like I said, I've still been doing research on motors and everything and transmissions. And this motor, it wasn't nothing done to it, like I said, besides headers. The only thing that was put on this motor, the only thing internal, external, anything, is headers. So this motor wasn't built at all. And I'm rocking just a three-speed transmission. So this, this car is not that fast, which is one thing I told you I don't like. How loud it is, but it don't move, you know? So I've been thinking about, like, really, really thinking about go ahead and motor or oh, transmission swapping because now if i want to be honest with y'all a lot of box chevys are ls swapped a lot of them even in like going to car shows and stuff you see a box chevy is most likely l swapped ls swapped i mean or lt swapped you know what i'm saying they put the lt motor with the supercharger or they just put a a 6062 ls motor in the cars you don't rare you rarely see too many with small blocks in them you know what i'm saying so i was gonna go ahead and ls swap my car but now i've been thinking about it like i said i don't want my car to be just looks like some regular ls ls swap box chevy like anybody else you know so i want to keep this small block in here and i know i can make it faster beef it up and everything by i know i can upgrade the carburetor i know and then i'm the other thing is really just to get the motor built you know so it ain't really much else I could do right now the main thing i want to do right now is upgrade this transmission i've been looking at 700 r's i know that's a four speed transmission and like i told you i got a three speed in this car so yeah i wanted to come to y'all get y'all opinion on what y'all think and honestly i've been like i said i've been looking them up and i've been seeing the 700 r's they're going for about two to three thousand two or three thousand dollars you know what i'm saying and y'all know my main focus right now is trying to finish that color so it can get out the shop so yeah I, I honestly don't know if i want to spend that two to three thousand i know i can go to a junkyard but i don't want one with a whole lot of miles on it then i'm gonna have to get the transmission built or replace it after that you know what i'm saying so maybe if i did go get one from the junkyard maybe i get it built or you know what i'm saying get some stuff changed out with newer parts maybe you know honestly i don't know yet that's why i say i wanted to come to y'all get y'all opinion on what y'all think i should do like I said, I want to get, I want to transmission swap this though for sure. But I'm also, I'm waiting on this to reply back from this guy. He gave me, he sent me like sort of 
sort of a good offer you know what I'm saying he sent me a motor and it's another 350 and he told me like you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm waiting on a response and once he once I get a response from him and, and everything I'm gonna make another video and then if I can get that motor we're just gonna swap the whole motor and transmission because he don't have a three speed on his I think he got the four speed but it's also a built motor you know what I'm saying they, he built this motor so it ain't no stock 350 it might be stock but i know he told me he built it so i'm thinking that thinking about motor swapping this we're gonna do it's gonna be another small block or another 350 and i wanted to try and do it myself but i know it, it's not gonna be that easy especially with me not having no motor lift or motor jack or whatever you want to say or whatever I, I, I really would need i don't have no motor lift i don't have no engine stand i don't have nothing you know what i'm saying to be able to swap this i'm i'm pretty sure my dad has a motor lift and an engine stand but i don't i just don't know how i would do it with the car just sitting here maybe i try to get to his shop or something i don't know but like i said once that once he replies then i'll probably make another video on that but for now i'm trying to look for a transmission just in case if i can't get that motor and transmission you know what i'm saying so yeah man Nah, like I said, I just wanted to get your opinion. I'm gonna get out, show y'all my motor, show y'all my transmission, and like I said, this motor ain't built on anything. It's just, it's not fast, and I, I don't like not going sort of fast. You know what I'm saying? I can't really go fast in this car because it's like limited. You know, especially with that transmission. I know the main thing is that transmission, but real quick, I want to show y'all. It's gonna take me a second. So yeah, let me try and find this on my phone. I'm gonna come back to y'all and we're gonna get out, get under the hood, show y'all the transmission, and everything, and I'm gonna go from there. Alright guys, so try to make sure y'all y'all good, make sure y'all don't fall. But like I said, shout out to my boy Skips. He sent me this picture showing me like transmissions and everything, or the two transmissions. And here we go so this is what i have i have the th350 and like i said it's a three speed three four gears tighter gearing shorter no overdrive so yeah like i said man this this is a transmission i have and this transmission it i don't really you know what i'm saying i, I can't really go fast with the in this with this motor and transmission you know what i'm saying so I know the motor, I've I seen a lot of people build small blocks, but you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't really watch the full videos, I just seen them like, they, they like racers, you know what I'm saying, street racers with street cars, and they have, some of them have small blocks, some of them have LS, some of them have a 4 or 5 o, some of them have 4 or 5 twos. you know what I'm saying, just some little, st little stuff like that. And the ones with the small blocks, I didn't really, they didn't really go into detail. I've seen most of the stuff on TikTok. Yeah, I know TikTok videos are really short. And they was just like, yeah, small block. And yeah, they just showed the engine. They didn't show the transmission. But I know my transmission is only three speed. So this is one reason why I can't really go fast. I know y'all are telling me in the comments what's the other reasons and stuff, other stuff I can do. But my main focus right now is trying to get the transmission or if I can get this whole motor and transmission. If, if, like I said, once he hit me back, and tell me the price and everything y'all gonna be shocked and y'all gonna tell me to jump on it which i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm hopefully i can get it next week you know what i'm saying but i'm trying to get i'm trying to look for a 700 r4 as y'all see it's a four speed and it has overdrive longer gearings you know what i'm saying and i'm pretty sure this motor would, i mean this transmission would allow me to go a little faster than what i'm able to go right now so like i said if that motor don't come through it was actually a motor and a transmission like i've been telling y'all if it don't come through then i'll be looking for a 700r but i'm also asking him the tr what transmission he got he told me it wasn't a three speed so i'm pretty sure it's a 700r and i'm hoping it is if not i'm hoping it's a better transmission you know what i'm saying or maybe y'all could tell me some other transmissions to get and if it would be okay if i went ahead and just went ahead and got the a transmission for like a junkyard or something you know so it's just all really the pins but like i said we feel great to get out the car so i can show y'all the motor transmission and we go from there you know what i'm saying i i think i i thought and looked up the numbers and everything this motor is supposed to be from a 70 70 something camaro or corvette you know what i'm saying so yeah man just trying to figure out what i can do so catch y'all once i get out the car in a second all right y'all outside of the car now 
now I'm finna show y'all my engine bay and stuff. Don't worry about the pain and everything. I'm finna be painting everything this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Today is a Friday, which I'm recording. I will be repainting this stuff on a Sunday because tomorrow I got stuff to do. So, yeah, some of this stuff under here I will be painting. Like that reservoir, we're gonna be painting that. We're gonna take it off, paint it. That reservoir, we're gonna take it off and paint it. And we're gonna take this off and paint it as well. But, like I said, my small block, nothing was done to it. It ain't built, no internals, nothing. It's a, it's a stock five, I was gonna say stock five speed. A stock 350. The only thing that was done was headers. And we got a new carburetor, but it's basically the stock carburetor. You know what I'm saying? It ain't an upgraded carburetor or none of that. So this motor is not built, but I know it can go a lot faster than, than what it's going. You know what I'm saying? It's allowed because of my headers and the exhaust and everything but i know this motor can go a lot faster than what it's doing you know what i'm saying and what it's producing so yeah like i said i just really want to get that transmission off and y'all can't really tell from up here so i'm gonna have to get down on the ground get a little dirty but yeah like i said this motor it ain't built or anything and I think it kind of leaks oil a little bit too, so it'd be good for me to go ahead and swap this swap this motor. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't want to do an LS swap because you see a lot of box shit, a lot of old schools in general with LS swaps and LT swaps. But you don't see you don't see them every day with with 350s, you know what I'm saying? So I want to keep this 350. I don't wanna I don't want to LS swap it no more. I, I just set my mind already. Once I set my mind, it, it's gonna be hard to change it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I, I don't want an LS swap no more. I want to put another 350 in here, and I know I can. I don't know what that zip tie doing, but yeah, I know I can go a lot faster with a 350. You know what I'm saying? Than what I'm going now. And I know a lot of people be like, just go ahead and LS swap it. Like I said, I, I don't want my box Chevy just like everybody else's with LS, LS or LT. So I do want to keep the 350 in here. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm gonna rock out with a 350, and hopefully. Hopefully I can either find a transmission or I can just go ahead and get that motor and trans because I'm pretty sure it might be around the same price to be honest. So that, that's kind of a hint for whenever I record that video. Y'all just got to stay tuned. So yeah man, this is the small block. Let me get y'all off, of, off of the tripod. So yeah, like I said, small block, nothing done to it besides headers. And if we get under here this is my transmission and it's leaking again i have to get another seal i don't know i don't know what's going on and i know i did not put extra transmission fluid in this car had got dropped off to a mechanic and maybe he didn't put the a new a new seal on there you know what i'm saying maybe he didn't but it is definitely leaking again but like i said this is my three speed y'all see the en right there going into the drive shaft three-speed transmission yeah it's definitely leaking if you look right there there's some drips from the pump fall down so yeah it's definitely leaking again and like I said man I'm, I'm I might be able to do transmission swap myself I know it's a few bolts with the drive shaft and it's I think it said 13 bolts going around 12 or 13 bolts going around you know what I'm saying and then I gotta take the shifter linkage off and the transmission should come down. I had to like do some wiggling, but the exhaust might be in the way a little bit too. And then this cross member right here, transmission mounts. I'm pretty sure I can get the transmission down myself. Might not be easy like I'm thinking. I'm, well, for sure I know it's not gonna be easy, but it, it it'll probably come down. You know what I'm saying? Without too much of a struggle. Without too much of a struggle, it might pop on down. But like I said, it's a three-speed, so y'all let me know what transmission I can rock out with. And once that motor, once I get more information on that motor, or not even more information, once he just hit me back saying, yeah, he'll sell it to me, then I'm going to get it. Because it's one of my pop's friends. It ain't just some random dude. It's one of my pop's friends. My pop's told me about it. And yeah, now I'm just waiting on waiting on a response to see if he still want to wanna let me get it. So... Yeah, man, y'all let me know what transmission I can do, though, because if I do motor swap it, put that other 350 in here, I'm most likely 
going to hold on to this motor just in case if I like need extra parts from it or if I want to get this one built as well. You feel me? Then I have a backup for this car or my color. So if I ever get another, if I ever get a Monte Carlo, I have a motor for it to just go straight in. You know what I'm saying? Just little stuff like that. You never know when you'll need a motor. I, I still have an old Dodge motor sitting in our shed. It's a 2.7 though with the transmission. Torque, and convert, tor torque converter. Everything. You know what I'm saying? It's ready to just go straight into a car. But like I said, man, y'all let me know what y'all think I should do transmission wise. And if I do get that motor, I'm going to take this one out. Like I said, most likely just go in, just send it to get built. And then still upgrade the transmission. Get rid of that three-speed regardless. I don't want that three-speed no more. So, yep, yep, yep. Like I said, I just want your opinion on what y'all think I should do. But other than that, man, other than that, I will catch y'all in a second for the outro because I got a couple more videos I'm trying to record before it start raining again. So, catch y'all in a second. All right, guys. So, that's going to be the end of this one. Like I said, I want y'all opinion on what y'all think I should do. I'm hoping that motor come through and I can go and get that motor and transmission, bro. Because I will make another video on me picking up that motor. Then make a video on trying to get it installed. If I can't install it myself, we're going to send it off to the shop and get the motor and transmission installed. You feel me with the wiring done? I don't know if it's coming with a computer. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. So, but yeah, I, I just need more information on it. You feel me? Either, I even take pictures. But if he just be like... Yeah, you can come and get it, you know what I'm saying? Then we're going to rock out. We're just going to pick it up, and then we'll see once we get to the motor, you know? Simple as that. And I'm going to have my dad go with me to pick it up because, you know, he got a truck and everything. But this video is not about that. You feel This video is about the transmission. If y'all think I should upgrade it to 700R, and if y'all think I should go, if I should try to find one at a junkyard with pretty low miles, you feel me? Then we'll rock out with that thought that was somebody I knew but yeah my charger I replaced the transmission on it I'm trying to think how many years ago was it it was was it while I was in high school or right after I graduated it's been a couple years but I, I have replaced that transmission um in my charger I think I put a brand new one in it no I don't know I don't remember I know I paid 600 for the transmission and then 300 to get it installed so almost a thousand dollars when I when my when my transmission went out my charger so and that was before I was really into cars you know what I'm saying I, I like cars I did a little bit of work like music wise but I wasn't fully into cars like I am now like fully invested in cars like I am now you know what I'm saying so yeah I, I I'm I don't know I probably could have changed it myself but I know it was a computer that they had to do like programming wise with the charger, I don't think I'm going to have to do that with this. I'm pretty sure all I have to do is take that old one out, put the new one in. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. So, yeah. Maybe I could even try to try to get this car tuned. But, like I said, this transmission ain't going to really do too much. I'm going to need a, a better transmission. Then, worry about all the rest of that stuff later on. But, main, the main thing, like I said, is what y'all think I should do transmission-wise. I have the three-speed on here. And this three speed just ain't cutting it for me no more. You feel me? I like cruising around town, but every once in a while I might want to get on the highway and go somewhere in this car. You feel me? But can't really do that because this this car is not. It don't get up to speed. Once I get once I get into that third gear, you, you can only push it so much. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't just smash on it and, it, and get up to speed because then it'll start slowing down. It won't stay at that speed. Y'all know what I'm saying? You feel me? It's just a three speed car, so. Maybe I upgrade to the 700R, you know what I'm saying? Or if y'all if y'all tell me a better transmission to get, then I'll do a different transmission, you feel me? But yeah, man, it's going to be the end of this one. I want y'all opinions in the comment section down below. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell all the way. Y'all be notified every time I drop. Share the channel and share this video so we can keep growing and elevating together, you know what I'm saying? We're almost at 3K. Maybe by the time y'all get this, we might be at 3K. I don't know yet. We still grinding, you feel me? We'll see, we'll see once we get there. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Keep God first and God bless. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.